Welcome back again to TEC Tube. In this video, we're going to show you guys the brand new ICP X vein units. This would include Heil, Day and Night, Tempstar, and all those other kind of manufacturers, all the ICP stuff. There's a lot of new stuff going on inside these units, so let's take a closer look. Things start out differently with the refrigeration circuiting. These come in dual or single stage circuits. And with the two stage unit, we're gonna use a two speed compressor and we're gonna run it at the typical 67 and 100% capacity like you'd see on a residential type system. And when it comes into the evaporator coil, we're gonna actually have that split. So stage one will go to the TXV, which will modulate just like it normally would. And that will go to the evaporator. But then stage two of the compressor will open up a solenoid valve, which will allow refrigerant to flow into the rest of the evaporator as well. Let's take a look inside and see what we can see in there. All right, now we got the whole cabinet opened up. We can take a look at the inside here. Right off the bat, the first thing you notice that's different is going to be the blower motor, but it's totally different than what we're used to seeing inside a packaged rooftop unit. This is a direct drive ECM, which is not that weird to have in a rooftop unit, but it does mean we have no pulleys and no belts to mess with, right? This is also going to have a totally different design. If you look down at the top over here, up top we actually have our blower wheel, and if you could see, that's in black, and if you could see down there that um, silver color, that's actually the stator. And together, those guys are going to work together to generate the static pressure that we need. But no belts, no shafts, no pulleys, uh, nothing like that to have to mess with. We'll set up all the air flows via the communicating circuit board on this guy. That's going to be the other thing that you'll notice that's different on here is we have a brand new design on the circuit board itself. All right, and the main reason for that is we have to have adjustment ability for the airflow to communicate to that fan. So not only will we be able to change the airflow CFM from here, but we also have the ability to do two-speed fan control with this motor without having a VFD, which is kind of nice. We'll do a separate video for you guys on how to set up the airflow on these guys. But for right now, let's go ahead and turn this on. You can hear it run. So right now, we just put it in the fan on mode so you can actually hear the fan. And that's it. It's pretty quiet. Uh, definitely quieter than any blower you're normally working on. So we'll let you guys hear the indoor fan section. Now we'll take a look at the outdoor fan section and I will see we'll run that in conjunction with the compressor. We do have a little bit different style fan here. If we take a look down in this unit, you notice that we actually have a composite blade that helps us out with keeping things balanced. You probably can't see it very well, but there's a black shroud around the outside that's to help improve the efficiencies. And this design is not new. It's just new to the rooftops. We have the exact same design in the air-cooled condensing chillers. Um, so this is a little bit just different design to have on a rooftop unit. There are one and two speed versions of this depending on whether you have a low or whether you have a standard, I should say, or high efficiency. So let's go ahead and kick this guy on. You can hear the fan and compressor. It'll obviously be a little louder than the indoor unit, uh, but it still be pretty good for sound. So that's what it sounds like when you're like literally standing right above it. So it is obviously louder than the indoor unit, but it's still pretty decent from a sound perspective. Not a lot of shaking here. Things are pretty well balanced with that composite fan. Thanks for joining us again. I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at the x vane unit from ICP. Obviously, there's a lot of new stuff going on in here. Totally different fan section, different condenser fan, some unique stuff on the refrigeration circuiting. We'll give you guys some follow-up videos on how to set some of this stuff up. Thanks for joining us.